Avanil Kumar and here is the second example to find derivative from first principle of the function. Function now is square root of x plus 1. So, so the derivative is f dash x equals to limit h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now that is to say it is limit h approaches 0. x plus h means you replace x with x plus h in the equation. So it is x plus h plus 1 minus square root of x plus h over h. To solve such equation you need to rationalize. Correct. So let's rationalize. We have x plus h plus 1 minus sorry it is x plus 1 square root of x plus 1 not h okay over h to rationalize we will multiply by its conjugate and divide by the same thing so x plus h plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1 divided by square root of x plus h plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1 so difference of squares is what you get in the numerator that is to say x plus h plus 1 minus x plus 1 divided by all this h times let's write them in brackets x plus h plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1 so you can see in the numerator x minus x is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 you are left with h so we get limit h approaches 0 so the numerator is h divided by denominator which is h times square root of x plus h plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1 now here h and h cancel out so so you get this as equals to limit h approaches 0 1 over square root of x plus h plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1. Now you can equate h equals to 0 here. So what do you get? You get 1 over square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x plus 1 which is equals to 1 over 2 times square root of x plus 1. You get the idea, right? So from here, we can write down the answer. And the answer is that f dash x, let's write down here, f dash x is equals to 1 over 2 times square root of x plus 1. So that is the derivative for the given function at any point on this function, right? Now from here, what we should do is we should find domain and range for the function and its derivative right so let's write down domain of f of x right so as far as the function is concerned it's a square root function you know so the domain here is domain here is that x belongs to real numbers and x is this should be greater than it should be non-negative right so it is x should be greater than equal to minus 1 however in this particular expression if I write x equals to minus 1 I get 0 in the denominator right so therefore what we find that this function is not differentiable at x equals to minus 1 right that is important it's not differentiable at x equals to minus 1 here for f dash x what is the domain for f dash x the domain is that x belongs to real numbers but x should be greater than minus 1 it cannot be equal to minus 1 you get the point right so what we also see here is that this particular function is not differentiable at x equals to minus 1 which is in the domain of the function right so 
Using this general principle, we can also find the point where the function is not differentiable, right? So let me write down here, uh, function f of x is not differentiable. at x equals to minus 1. Do you see that? Since this derivative, the limit, does not exist. Since f dash x does not exist. Do you see? At x equals to minus 1. Denominator will be 0, right? So that is very important to understand. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.